what is going on youtube it's your boy nevin the barber and in today's youtube tutorial we're going to be covering a mid fade using only two guards and i really like this fading system right here that i created because you guys can achieve a nice blurry blend without taking your fade too high or you know struggling to blend out that skin line so first things first i'm starting off with the gamma instinct trimmers followed by the gamma instinct clippers with no guard lever all the way open and I'm bringing this guideline up about an inch followed by my previous section and I do this just so I have enough space to blend out each guideline and in my fading system I'm basically going to be creating three guidelines going up and then coming back down to blend them out so with the second guideline I'm using the one and a half guard all the way closed and I'm going to go up about another inch so we're going to have three guidelines, our skin, our 0.5, and now our 1.5. And right after we create this guideline right here, we're going to start blending straight into the parietal ridge and into the crown area. And whenever you guys do this, you want to make sure to roll that comb off of that parietal ridge bone. That way you're not cutting no hair into the crown area. And I really like doing this step right here because it saves you from going to the four or the number three guard. So now that I have the one and a half guard section blended up into the bulk, I'm gonna use the blur guard all the way open to blend the 0.5 into the 1.5. And this guard right here is basically equivalent to a one and a half guard um, all the way closed when it's all the way open. And I really like this guard right here because it really just brings your fade to life. And this is really where the blurriness is going to happen in your fade. So you guys want to make sure you do put a lot of detail work and make sure that you're flicking that blade in the right direction that the hair is growing out of the scalp, just so you can get the closest cut to the skin. And little by little, that middle section is starting to blend out as you guys can see. So now that I've blended out the one and a half guard into the crown area and we have our middle section blended out, I'm going to come back with no guard lever all the way closed to blend out that last guideline. And I'm just flicking out with a very short cutting stroke while I'm doing this. And little by little, I'm just going to gradually start to open my lever just to flick out any last dark areas that I see. And you know, some hair texture may be a little bit different than others whenever you guys are doing this. And I say that because some hair textures are going to take a little bit longer to blend out whenever you guys are using this process. But if you guys do all the steps correctly, you will be able to achieve a nice clean blurry fade. And like I said, I've been cutting for 10 years and this is by far my favorite cutting technique that I've tried. So feel free to try it out and let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I do upload free barber tutorials for you guys and my subscribers every week. So like I said, feel free to subscribe if you guys are a beginner or even an advanced barber. I do like, like to drop barber gems for you guys and really just put you on with new fading techniques. And little by little, that blend is coming together. That fade is looking nice and blurry. And that's really what you guys want to achieve or try to achieve for whenever cutting hair is just getting a nice clean transition from the skin into the hair. And if you guys have learned anything in this video so far, please be sure to hit that like button. I do appreciate any feedback from you guys. And if there's any tutorials that you guys are interested in seeing, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll definitely do my best to get a tutorial out for you guys. But now that I have the blend complete, I'm gonna come in with my Gamma Instinct trimmers, starting the C cups. And whenever I begin my C cups, I like to use just the corner of my blade, starting at the top of my C cup, and then I'll meet it from the bottom to the top. And when you guys do this, you wanna keep it as natural as you can. That way, you're, you know, you try to leave it at the natural hairline and whatnot. 
but still try to achieve a nice clean crispy line and same thing with the vertical bars and after I have that complete I'll go ahead and remove the bulk and these trimmers right here are zero gapped as you guys can see they were able to cut through the hair pretty effortlessly without causing no irritation or pulling and if you guys are interested in purchasing these clippers feel free to use my uh, promo code nevin10 on the gamma website whenever you guys are going to check out that way you can save some money on them and i'm just following up this guideline using the bronze series 9 shaver just to ensure that all of that stubble is cut down to the skin And just like that, we are done with the right side of the fade. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact steps on the left side of my client's head. First, putting my initial guideline with my Gamma Instinct trimmers. And you guys do wanna make sure to drop that guideline beneath the occipital bone if your client does request a drop fade. So now that I have my foundation line set, I'm going to follow that up with no guard lever all the way open. So this is equivalent to the half guard length. And I took it up about one inch right above my previous guideline. Whenever you guys create your guidelines, you don't want to make them too wide or too narrow. And I'm following that guideline using the one and a half guard all the way closed. And again, just doing some clipper over comb into the bulk. Now that I have that step complete, I'm gonna go ahead and take my half guard, also known as my blur guard, with the lever all the way open. And I'm just gonna start attacking that middle guideline. And every time I close the lever, I'm just gonna start shortening my cutting stroke, just because it is going to be cutting the hair down to a little bit more of a shorter length. Right here, I have the lever halfway closed. And I'm just going halfway up into that guideline. And now I'm going to go ahead and clean up my client's C cup before I erase the last guideline. And I wanted to show you guys that you can do this both ways, whether you clean up the C cup before you erase the last guideline or after. I personally like to do it like this when I clean up the C cups before I take out that last guideline, just because it really makes that corner of the C cup pop a lot more. And now with the lever all the way closed, just erasing that final guideline. And you guys really want to put as much detail work as you can with this last step, just to achieve that you can get that nice clean blurry effect. And not only will your client appreciate it, but it will increase your chances of retainment. So never be afraid to put in those extra details whenever you guys are cutting hair. And just to finish up the fade, I'm removing all the bulk with the Gamma Instinct trimmers. And like I said, these blades right here are zero gapped, which just made the job that much easier for me. And I'm following up with the Bronze Series 9 shaver. And if you guys haven't tried this shaver right here, this is definitely a powerful shaver as well. And I like to erase the last um, stubble with the shaver at the end, just because I know I won't push it up into the fade. And now that the fade is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and saturate my client's hair a little bit, just so I can use my shears and get a cleaner transition into the bulk. And right here, I'm just doing some shear point cutting, ensuring that all of that bulk in the back is all even and cut down to the same length. I didn't want it overhanging by his occipital bone. And same thing along the parietal ridge, just cutting any flyaways that don't need to be there. That way when my client styles his hair, it'll be nice and flush to his scalp. And right here doing some sheer over comb 
right on top of the fade. And I, I really like to do this in all of my haircuts just because it gives a cleaner transition from the fade into the bulk of the hair. A much more softer transition as opposed to using the clippers. Sometimes the clippers can leave a little bit more of a choppier look. But with the shears, you can get a much more softer finish. And just to finish up this cut, I'm gonna line up the little baby hairs on my client's forehead, doing his lineup. And I already had the vertical bars in the C cups lined up. So it made this step that much easier for me. And I'm just following up with my razor blade, stretching the skin, ensuring that I could bring that razor up against the grain of the hair. And it's very important that you guys go against the grain of the hair with the razor blade rather than with the grain, just because when you go against the grain, it'll cut the hair at a much more shorter length and it'll make the haircut last a little bit longer. But I always like to lean my clients back, as you guys can see, and I'll just go ahead and stretch their skin, ensuring that I could get the sharpest cut possible. And now that you guys see that I went over it with the razor, it's that much sharper. But that is about it for today's haircut tutorial. If you guys learned anything in the video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But it's been your boy Nevin the Barber and I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one.